Question 32. Which graph best represents y equals negative 4, open parentheses, x plus 3, close parentheses, minus 2? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you two ways to do this. Voy a mostrarles dos maneras para hacer eso. First, the shortcut with the calculator. Primero el camino corto con la calculadora. And then afterwards, we can do it by hand. Y después podemos hacer por mano. So let's go ahead and do it with the calculator. Okay, so go ahead and get your calculator. Okay, so go on. Go ahead and push one, uno. And then push no if you need to. And then we're going to go ahead and enter into the graphs, number two, numero dos. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put this equation in the calculator. So negative four open parentheses, uh, x plus 3, close parentheses, minus 2. Okay, and remember, recuerda, this is x, este es x, this is not x, este no es x. Okay, and then go ahead and push enter. Okay, let's go ahead and see which one matches. Looks like it could be h or j, right? H o j. Now, we, we need to be very sure. Necesitamos estar muy seguros. So, go ahead and push control T to make a table. Necesitamos la tabla. So, control T. Okay, so now I have some points. Tengo puntos. Let's see over here uh, which points will match. Okay. So, we need some points here. Necesitamos puntos. Let's pick two points. Necesitamos dos puntos in the corner, in la esquina. And I will tell you what that means in a moment. So let's go ahead and take a look at this line. This is a point, este es un punto, in a corner, in una esquina. Do you see how I mean like this is the line right here? Okay. This is a point in the corner. Este es un punto en la esquina. Let's go ahead and write the ordered pair. Negative 4, 2. Negativo 4, 2. Negative 4 is x. 2 is y. And then let's pick another one. Okay, you need to be very careful. I'm going to go ahead and pick this one. Esta, it's in a corner. Esta en una esquina. X, then Y. X is negative 2. Y is 6. Negative 6, sorry. Negative 6. Okay, so let's go ahead and check with our calculator. Vamos a checar with, con la calculadora. So I need to find x negative 4. Here are the x's. So the negatives are going to be up. So let's go ahead and go up. Negative 4 is with 2. Perfect. Perfecto. And then let's go ahead and go down. Negative 2, negative 6. So this is actually the answer. Esta es la respuesta. Okay, I'm going to show you another one just to practice. Solo para practicar. So this one, it looks like this is a corner. Esta es una... Esquina, un punto en la esquina, point in the corner. It looks like this is negative 3, 2. And another one looks like this one. Negative 2, negative 2. So negative 2 is not with negative 2, so this is a no. And then negative 3 is with negative 2, not positive 2. So these are no, son diferentes. Este es negativo, este es positivo. Okay, so my answer is H. So that's how you can do that with the calculator. Este es como pueden hacer por calculadora. Now we're going to go ahead and do it by hand. Vamos a hacer por mano. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is you're going to go ahead and copy that right over here. And I need to change this. Necesito cambiarlo. I need to change the form. Quiero cambiar la forma. I want the form. Quiero la forma. Slope intercept form. I want like this. Quiero así. Y alone, la Y sola, with the MX, con el MX, and the B at the end. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw our line. If there are parentheses, you must do that first. Si hay parentheses, tengo que hacerlos primero. So here's the parenthesis group. Aquí está la, el grupo de los parentheses, right over here. Okay. It's the number in front. Es el número enfrente with the numbers inside, con los números que están adentro. So this is one. Two, two parts, hay dos partes. Copy y, copy equals. First, primero, negative 4 times x, negativo 4 por x, negative 4x. 
Now, ahora, negative 4 again times 3. Negativo 4 otra vez por 3. Let's go ahead and put that in the calculator. So, I'm going to go ahead and do control doc. I'm going to go to 1. Negative 4, open parenthesis, 3, close. Negative 12. This is no parentheses, copy. No hay parentheses, copy. Okay, now I have three parts. That's weird. Ahora tengo tres partes. Es extraño. So, one, two, three. I want the like terms. Quiero lo, los términos que son similares. Here is X. Hay X. No X, no X. So, this is no letter, no letter. These are the same. Sin letra, sin letra, son iguales. That's why I put the same symbol. Por eso pongo el mismo símbolo. So, copy Y. Copy equal. This is by itself. Está sola. So, copy. Entonces, copy. And we're going to put in the calculator the same. Vamos a poner en la calculadora que son iguales. So, negative 12 minus 2. That will be negative 14. Okay. So, this is my equation that I want. Esta es la ecuación que quiero. Okay, so now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I have to do this for each one. Tengo que hacer por cada una. But I'm going to do it just for the correct one, pero solo voy a hacer por la correcta to show you what to do. So, we're going to go ahead and do H. I'll put H right over here. And I need the two points. Necesito los dos puntos that I picked. I will put negative 4, 2. And negative 2, negative 6. Okay? So, remember, I want y equals mx plus b. Recuerda que quiero y equals mx plus b. Y igual mx más b. So, first, for part 1, por parte 1, I need to find the slope. Necesito el slope, which is m, m. And there's a formula for that. Hay una formula por eso. And remember, you can find that here. Pueden encontrarlo aquí. So look in the third part, in la tercera parte, you want this formula, m equals y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. This is x1, y1, x2, y2. y2 is negative 6. Copy minus. y1 is 2. Copy, divide. X2 is negative 2 minus X1 is negative 4. Another negative, un otro negativo. So the first negative for the formula, el primer negativo por la formula, and the second negative for the negative 4, y el segundo negativo por el negativo 4. Put up in the calculator first, arriba en la calculadora primero. So negative 6 minus 2. Negative 8, divide, division, down now, ahora abajo, negative 2 minus negative 4, positive 2. And let's put it all in the calculator, ahora todo en la calculadora, negative 8 divided by 2, negative 4. That is my slope, that is my M. Okay, part 2, I need the B. Parte 2, necesito la B. So I have M, tengo M, it's negative 4. I need X and I need Y. Necesito X y Y. You're going to pick one, elecciona una. Pick one pair, elecciona un par. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pick this one. So if you pick this X, you must pick this Y. Si quiero usar este X, necesito usar este Y. So X negative 4, Y is 2. And we're going to do the formula y equals mx plus b. y is 2 equals m is negative 4. x is negative 4 in parentheses. Okay, this one in parentheses. Copy plus. I don't have b. No tengo b. That's what I want. Es que quiero. If there are parentheses, you must do that first. Si hay parentheses, tengo que hacerlos primero. So negative 4 times negative 4. Let's put that in the calculator. Negativo 4. Open parentheses, abre parentheses, negative 4, close, cierra, enter, 16, copy, plus B, equals, copy, 2. 
I want to be alone. Quiero la B sola. What number is B with B? ¿Cuál número está con B on the same side, en el mismo lado? 16. 16. This is positive. Es positivo. The opposite is negative. El opuesto es negativo. Minus 16. Copy. Minus 16. 2 minus 16. 2 menos 16. Negative 14. Negativo 14. Equals. 16 minus 16 is 0. Es 0. Cancel. Se cancela. Copy B. Copy la B. And then, y luego, I need to switch. Necesito cambiar. I want the letter in the front. Quiero la letra enfrente. So this is my B. So I have M. I have B. Part 3. You're going to put in slope intercept form. Voy a poner in slope intercept form. Where M and B are numbers. Donde M y B son números. Y and X are letters. Y y X son letras. Y equals M is negative 4. Copy X. Copy plus. B is negative 14. Okay, and remember, plus minus is minus. Más y menos es menos. So Y equals negative 4X minus 14. Okay, so take a look at this. Take a look at this. They are the same. Son iguales. If they are the same, that is your answer. Si son iguales, H is my answer. H es mi respuesta. Now, in the exam, if you're going to do it by hand, you're going to have to do every single one. Okay, in el examen, si van a ser por mano, deben que hacer cada una. You would have to do F, G, and J as well. Deben que hacer F, G, y J también. Um, but I already knew that H was correct from the calculator. Pero ya sabía que H es correcta uh, de la calculadora. So that's why I only did that one. Por eso solo hice esta. So anyways, um, H is my answer because this one from the given equation, after I simplified it, is the same. If you like this video, please give it a like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thanks for watching.